Welcome back, everybody. Now, I do apologise. There was a bit of a delay in any kind of videos today. Is just the fact that the last few days have been absolutely intensely busy. And um, literally when I got home from work yesterday, because it is now about half past one in the morning here, I just decided just to go near enough straight to bed. And I do feel a little bit better, but I am a little bit knackered. But yeah, I did promise you some videos. So... The order of the videos that I'm going to do, I did say that at the weekend I was going to do things a little bit differently, so you can have a Metallica one. Um, it's not originally the one that's being requested to me, I'm going to do that in the next few days. I just chose one a bit quick so I can get some more Metallica up there, so that's nothing else matters. The next one is um, 30 Seconds to Mars, uh, Do or Die, and then... I believe there is a Muse one in there. No, I know there's another one in there. I, can't, I wrote them all down. Um, I can't remember. They're not on this sheet of paper. But you've I think you've got four. Um, I hope. I'm pretty hope. I'm pretty sure you've got four. Anyway, so I'm going to go back onto this one. So there is definitely a Muse one in there. I know that one. Um, so I'm going to go back into this one. I love this track by Metallica. It's one probably one of my favourite tracks from Metallica. So I'm just going to press play. The lyric video as well, so. Seriously love this track so much. So much love for this. Sabian was the other one, sorry, my bad. I'm gonna do. I love this track so much.
Like I said though, um, this is one track that I actually really, really do love from Metallica. It's a bit different, um, it has a diff very big, diff sorry, I am tired of li literally just woken up. It has a different tone to most um, Metallica tracks. It's got this very much softer, mellower kind of tone to it than the normal tracks from um, Metallica which I actually really really do like it's something different and in general I don't know why I've got so much love for this I just don't I it's just one of my favorite songs literally I can hold my hands and say this is one of my favorite songs there's this so many different parts in this track that I love so much um, I know now I've done some reading uh, about what the lyrics mean, and apparently James, he, I'm gonna get this wrong. I know I am. Heatfield, hit Heatfield. Oh, sorry, I got it wrong. <laughs> Wrote this about a um, girlfriend he once had, but he can't remember exactly why he wrote it. So the band now considers this as a um, a song about his fans. So. Apparently that nothing else matters apart from his fans. That's what the band considered this track to be about. Um, like I said, I could, I could say it over and over again how much I love this track. I'm not going to go too in depth with it because I don't want to. Because I, I don't know why I love this song so much. I really don't. I just think... I suppose I can relate to certain bits of it, I suppose. Does that make sense? I don't know. I'm not sure. So, on that note, please tell me what you think. Put it in the comments down below. I hope you have a great rest of your day. I'm sure there's not much of it left, <laughs> to be fair, because it was half past one here. Um, but then again, it could be just... You know what I'm trying to say. I'm really tired. So, have a great rest of the day. Whatever you're doing, please take care and goodbye.